that's for Case Keenum. It is a special, special Sunday, people. Case Keenum, congratulations, man. He's been named the starter, the starting quarterback for Washington. Dude, congratulations. Can you come back to Minnesota, though? Could you come back? Come back. Come back. Rose, DeWitt, B. Cater, Titanic, anybody? But seriously, dude, come back. Please. Please come back to us. But congratulations, Case Keenum, the man, the myth, the Minneapolis miracle legend. I'm gonna go watch that again later to relive the good memories that we had because of Case Keenum. But oh no, we had to let him go. And now, us purple people, we're stuck with Cuckoo Cousins, who's a degenerate that can't do anything, Mr. Well, I just gotta play better. Could you just get out of here? <laughs> Can we just do a little tradesies? It's weird that Washington now has Mr. Case Keenum, a winner, a proven winner, won playoff games before. Game. <laughs> game. Won a playoff game. Got the starting quarterback position via Jay Gruden, via Washington, because they say he's consistent. Shows consistency. Consistency is key. Vikings, are you taking notes? Okay? Okay? Taking notes? No, probably not. But Keenum, congratulations, man. Really happy for you. Miss you. I can't let go. I'm not going to let go because it literally made no sense why they didn't just keep him on this team another year. He could be... Ugh. But man, I'm happy for you, dude. Case Keenum, go get him. And when you come here to Minneapolis and you play the Vikings, he's probably going to stick it to the purple, too. Stick it to the Skullers. It's going to happen, people. I can see it now. Keenum, congratulations. Good luck. Week one versus Philadelphia. Go get the win there, too, because I can't stand them. Can't stand them. It's like, did I just become a Washington fan, like, a little bit? Maybe a little bit, because I like Case Keenum, obviously. But, I mean, Vikings are always going to be number one. But Washington might be not, probably my number two now. So, Keenum, go get him. And I bet I wouldn't be shocked either if Keenum throws up better numbers than Cuckoo Cousins. Playing like Mr. I play like trash. Can't do anything. Going to have a batted ball down. Oh, can't win a playoff game and only have a 500 record. But let's pay you $84 million. Yeah, let's do it. I'm fine. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. I'm just going to go watch the Minneapolis Marathon again, relive those amazing memories because of Case Keenum. So thanks, man. Miss you here in Minnesota. Please come back. Welcome you with open arms. We can just do a little tradesies. You know, that'd be okay too. But miss you, man. Congratulations. Keenum, go get them from an organization that hopefully respects you a little bit. Because the Vikings mm, didn't really seem like they were. After all you did for them. After all you did. I don't, I, I didn't forget. I, and I won't, and I won't. And you know what? Case Keenum, too. Fun fact, astrologically speaking, I'm gonna wrap this up. Case Keenum is an Aquarius. He's an Aquarius air sign. Adam Thielen is a Leo fire sign. Stefan Diggs. Sagittarius, fire sign, all those signs, all those signs complement one another. Hmm. Yeah, they got along, didn't they? Yep. Vibing. And now, cousins, Leo, more fire, with another fire sign and another fire. That's too much fire. Don't get along. Just makes so much sense. Oh, also, you guys, I figured out who the broadcaster was that I was trying to think of. Does the slide and Chris Collinsworth. Come on, you guys. Ugh. Why couldn't I think of that? That's pathetic on my part. Pathetic. Putrid. <laughs> Case Keenum, congratulations. Man, just big news. I'm happy for you. Very special Sunday. Go get them. Rooting for you. I will always be rooting for you. And please come back. Can you come back to Minnesota? Please come back to us. We want you back. We want you back. Come back. Congrats, though.